The following contest is a fatal four-way tables, ladders, and chairs match! Yeah. And it is for the Women's Hardcore Championship! Making her way to the ring from Brooklyn, New York. So much on the line here tonight, guys, as we look to crown a new champion. That's right, Cole. We're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one. It's not very often you can say that. And she's obviously proud of what she's been able to accomplish over the course of her career as well she should be. I can respect that, Michael. She clearly has worked hard to get where she is, but she also has to remember that she has a long way to go. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the vacant championship, which means tonight we finally crown one of these superstars as our next champion. And it's about time, if you ask me. Hey guys, it seems like nearly every little girl in this audience has one of her shirts on here tonight. It's not hard to understand why either. She really is a great role model, especially when you take into account just how much respect she has for the industry, the people in it, and the entire WWE Universe. Gentlemen, by night's end, we will crown a new champion. No offense to you, Cole, but part of me wishes Gorilla Monsoon was here for this match, just so we can hear him say history has been made at the conclusion. Earlier today, guys, she told me just how proud she is of what she's done in the ring as of late. But if I know her, Michael, she's not even close to being satisfied. You can bet she has plenty more she wants to do over the course of her career. finally have a champion after this one. And you have to imagine these superstars are feeling the pressure here. You don't come into a match of this magnitude without feeling it at least a little bit.
Seems to me, guys, like she is incredibly proud of what she's been able to accomplish as of late. She should be proud, Michael. It's not easy to do what she's been able to do, but she also has to be careful not to become complacent. TLC match underway. Tables, ladders, and chairs. Punch is legal in this match. They're encouraged. It is hard to find a rhyme or reason in a TLC match, but you can't deny that it has created some absolutely amazing memories over the years. The way these superstars put it all on the line, I'm excited. Make sure not to blink because you just might miss something. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. Between this stipulation and the number of competitors, things have a chance of getting out of hand. How do you manage to keep it within your control? You don't. If TLC is the wave, you've got to ride it and be ready to adjust and improvise. You have all these foreign objects at your disposal, so use them and don't get locked into one strategy. She scores big with the counter. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, look at this. Cinches up the arm and a vicious kicks to the jaw. Just never had a chance to block any of those. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Oh, man. She's taking some big hits here. She's taking things to ringside. Oh, knee right through the stomach. Ah, uh, takedown. And now punches right. Teed off. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Comes back into the ring. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go on the apron. Power slam. Oh, look at the double team here. Uh-oh. Double flapjack. Oh, my. Alliances in this situation don't last long. Let's see how quickly this devolves. I don't know what they're looking for here. Hooked up. Who she goes? She. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Throw. 
saying not today. Get back here, leg lariat. Some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. second of attacks like that without it affecting you. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. These string of attacks are keeping her off her game. She has to build the strength to turn the tide. <laughs> oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum stretch. We are seeing absolutely no quit from these women. Maybe it's gone too far to surrender now. Answering back. Dragon Slayer. Oh, what a close line. She's taking a beating here. Well, this deep into a fatal four-way match, you've got to expect to be a little worse for wear. Getting the ladder set up for something. I'd say that corner just became a major hazard. Goal. Just tossing that table. Reached on the shoulders. Feast your eyes. Big time move. But it'll be all for nothing if she can't capitalize on this moment. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Kick to the midsection. Oh, this is so much fun to watch. Big time powerbomb. And that could provide all the breathing room you need to climb a ladder. And now she places it in the corner. It is beyond electric in here. This energy is on another level. He does not want to be near that ladder. Anywhere but near that ladder, Michael. <laughs> Takes their breath out. Effective counter. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Oh! She'll take things into the ring. And no countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. What a punch! What's she looking for under the ring? I have a feeling she has bad intentions for that chair. Oh my goodness! Oh, kick finds it. She has even more left in her tank. Hoist it up. Boom! Feast your eyes. And now that oh, she's up to no good. And she's not allowing fatigue to hold her back now. She might be thinking of putting his efforts towards ending things soon. Back in the ring now. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Scaling the ladder now. Where she goes. Up the ladder. Be careful. She's got a hold of it. It seems a bit early to be going for the win, if you ask me. Not if they can win it right here, though. <laughs> I don't know. Climbing the ladder at this point seems to be a bit ambitious. There's no too early to try. Clearly not afraid to take the fight up high. Jumped into the ropes and attacking the lower back. <laughs> Firm control. Oh, what a bump to the face! 
Her energy is fading rapidly now. We're about to see how tough she really is. Setting it up in the corner now. Well, that corner just got a whole heck of a lot more dangerous. A series of boots. Of counter. What do you think she has in mind? Malicious intentions. to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by countout. Uh-oh. No, Scorpion death drop. Good night. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Nailed it. Shining wizard. That's it. No getting up from that. Re-entering the ring now. <laughs> oh, could this be it? Nasty knee. And that could take her out of the match for a while. She better shake the cobweb before her opponent makes that climb. Look at that snatch of victory here, guys. I think it's going to happen. They've got it. Trying to unhook it now. Looks to have a good grasp, but it's just not coming down. Oh, this has got to be frustrating. Yes, we have a new champion.
Yeah, now we're talking. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 225 pounds, the All-American Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills, this is why I do what I do. A very high pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. Did someone call for a superhero? And his opponent, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane. Let's be honest, guys. This guy has about as many superpowers as he does brain cells. You know what, Corey? It just seems like you are green with envy. Oh, my God. You did not go there. I did. And the Hurricane considers himself a real-life superhero, here to fight for what's right. According to him, evildoers in WWE should beware. You have to respect the Hurricane for standing up for what he believes in. Even when he's the underdog in the ring, which is most of the time, he fights with everything he's got and gives 100%. Good thing he has superpowers, right? The odds are often against him, but the Hurricane always keeps his spirits high. But he'll be facing someone who has been looking for a challenging fight for quite some time now. Hopefully, he'll get it tonight. Did you see that? Propelled through the air! Jarring impact. Targeting the arm to great effect. Hurricane looking a little less than super. Crank in the head, and the fight has been taken to Hurricane. Hurricane has to find a way to turn things around. And what is the proverbial weakness for the superhero? Look at this. Rough landing. Big forearm. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, boom. And he's taking this to the outside now. Inverted face lock. Oh. Eye of the hurricane. Bam, pow, oh. Bob, the hurricane superpowers are no match. Oh, Saxton, go back to the comic store, you nerd. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Swan time. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Countout may be imminent here. Really testing fate right now. Take that. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. My goodness, did you hear that shot? Kick right to the body. Puts the boot to the midsection. Counters. DDT. Talk about devastation.
Kane's chances are fading. Two. And yeah, that's a big win right there. And I'm going to check on a... Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar... No, not come on, done. that's one call for. Now, what does this prove? Gentlemen, it's time to keep your eyes on the skies. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio. Weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee. He was known as a tag team competitor before joining WWE, even won the Dusty Classic and NXT Tag Team Championships early in his WWE career but now has grown as a singles competitor too, winning the NXT North American Championship even. Somebody call air traffic control because Wesley is about to take flight. Prepare to see an air on the display like none other. And here comes one of our favorites. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Jr. Looking out at the countless members of the WWE Universe in attendance, they are all here because of matches like this one. He said he'll be making a statement in this match tonight and will deliver it emphatically. We've got one of the most outspoken superstars on the roster in the ring right now. Yeah, Cole, he's made it very clear what his intentions are and that no one is gonna stop him. They might be intentions, but only time will tell if he's a man of his word. Wesley standing across from him, and it's hard not to root for this kid. He's really found himself as a single star. Came the WWE as part of a unit, forced to go out on his own and put his foot on the gas. He's become a superstar the WWE Universe can be proud of. He does whatever it takes to succeed, and the results are speaking for themselves. Ooh. And look at it for a back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Uh-oh, look out. Double leg drop. Oh, and a double axe handle. Incredible height. Honing in on the arm. And Lee had no reflexes to answer for that. Stunner. Quickly, the cover. Gets the shoulder up Wow, What's it going to take? Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Drop kick down low. Oh, and the elbow connects. Trading back and forth blows now. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Slugging away with everything they've got. Nothing pretty here, just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Put into the corner now. Running drop kick in the corner. Nowhere to go. Boom! 
There's some top rope leaping ability. Hail Mary minus the grace. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Big kick. He's absorbed some damage already. Lee causing damage and making it look good. Followed in with a clothesline. Watch the athleticism. Satellite DDT. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? He is sky high. Crushing impact with a seated set time. No, he kicks out. Staying in this one. He skirts around it. Kick to the midsection. Powered them up. No, here come the punches. Provided escape plan. West gets the better there. Eye to the corner, an Irish whip. Here comes the splash. Oh, and he, and he takes out the official. He pulled the official into the way, and now steel chair in hand. This was well orchestrated by the superstar and their manager. Snapmare. Not safe yet. Kick. Expected that one. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. Wesley is in serious danger. We might have already had a fall if the referee Cover. wasn't out of action. Instantly he has his shoulders up. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. Hurricane. for that one. Uh-oh. Back and forth. Up and over. The pendulum beginning to shift. Boom! This superstar is something else. He is just reeling from that offense. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. This counter. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He wants even more out of his opponent. Up and over. This one is headed outside, guys. These competitors are pushing themselves beyond their limits. Yeah, it's definitely not every night we see a match like this. And finds a counter. The running meteor. He steers clear of contact. There's a Canadian destroyer. Wow. Wesley looks like he's rocket-powered after that move. Just incredible. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Strikes with the feet. And then a double stomp to the lower back. What's he gonna do here? Oh, that hurt. And Wes is piling on to all the damage he's already handed out. Wes has made it a mission to take his opposition to deep waters. Had it scouted and returned in kind with the boot. Headed to the 
top rope. This could be spectacular. Dragon Rana connects. Ross went down in a heap. Oh, shoulder up before three. Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. All that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Look at this crowd. It's insanity in here. Bedlam. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. And he sends him into the corner. Left an opening and got a kick to the face. Gets dropped. Timely reverse DDT. Superstar has won this match. Obviously, their manager very proud of their performance here tonight. And I don't think we're done celebrating just yet. No, the yet. manager handed a steel chair in, and I believe the uh, the attack is going to continue. Oh, don't, don't do this. This isn't about victory. This is personal. This is about decimation. No, no, you proved your point. You won the match. Come on. Now the manager wants in, too? This is sickening. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. So Dakota may not be really trustworthy, but she is an amazing in-ring competitor. Who needs trust when you can kick everyone's face off? Well, I may have reservations on her personality, but I agree that Kai is a very dangerous competitor. Well, if Kai fails the Byron Saxton personality test, I'd say she's doing great. Zelina might be little, but she is fierce. And representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Zelina Vega! Zelina, one of the smallest competitors with the biggest heart. Yeah, now Zelina is sitting under the learning tree of Rey Mysterio and the rest of the LWO. Zelina really has a chance to break out even further. 
Zelina looking to make the LWO and her family proud tonight. Zelina out here tonight, ready for competition. You know, don't let her size fool you. Zelina is as ruthless and as mean as they come once that bell rings. What she may lack in stature, she more than makes up for in status, Cole. Everyone's stock goes up when Zelina's around, so put some respect on her name. Oh, my sincerest apologies, Corey. We'll still have to see if Zelina will raise her own stock at the end of this match. But Dakota Kai's fighting spirit will not be extinguished. Despite her stature, Kai has proven time and time again that she has the ability to even take down opponents twice her size. So she's more than ready to get this show on the road. Zelina gets out of harm's way. And I can assure you that wasn't part of Zelina's usual cold and calculating strategy. A ferocious Dakota coming out here. Driven down face first. Corey, what kind of strategy would you recommend for taking on a practice striker like Dakota Kai? I'd say to try to land hits on Kai's limbs, particularly her legs, to try and diminish her raw striking power. If she's in pain or has limited mobility, she won't be able to put full force behind her hits. When your opponent can hit like Kai, it is essential to mitigate that power any way you can. Can she do it here? She breaks the count quick. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Dakota Kai with the crucifix chokehold submit. A couple of knees and then another one, and that'll force the break. Chops down their opponent with a kick to the knee. Building up momentum. Beautiful Hurricanrana. So much impact coming from such a small frame. Zelina raising her stop. Taking flight. Hey, what a splash. <laughs> and she gets herself out of a precarious position. And that was offense with a hurtful force. Dakota seems unable to turn the momentum here. Nice work here. Look at the damage Kai in ways that will diminish. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Dakota can't come back from that. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is, but they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. <laughs> Force the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Dakota Kai, bang, detonation kick. Kai has this in hand now. Shoulders up, shoulders up. Oh, I thought that was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. And that could have been Dakota's best shot at putting this one away. Double stop. Strong kick. My goodness. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. She has to mind the 10 count. She's in pretty bad shape now. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Ooh, what a four club. Hooked up. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. They've got their opponent hooked. There it is. It's applied. Hands locked in the rear. Trouble. In trouble. Tap out. She's got to tap out. She's got Not 
sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. And Jelena is piling on even more damage at this juncture. All Dakota's momentum just sapped out of her. I'm not sure how much she has left. to Zelina. Kyle might be feeling a bit rattled. And the cut uh -oh. evades their offense. I don't know how there is anything left in these superstars' bodies. Yeah, the tank is being emptied tonight. Oh, long drop kick right on the patella. Struggling to defend herself. You won't see Zelina show any remorse. Drop kick to the back. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now into a power ball. That's it. Vegas just ended this. the win for Zelina Vega here tonight. Let's just remember that Dakota Kai has come back from worse setbacks than this. This isn't the end of the road for her. Uh, referee calls to the bell. We're underway. And the referee goes down just oh, like no. that. It's a hazardous environment for an official. Anybody got a referee shirt? The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smart, not hard. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Point of the elbow finds the mark. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. How do you deal with an unpredictable and agile superstar like Jimmy Uso? You need to contain Jimmy. If he gains momentum, he'll run circles around you and catch you off guard. You've got to slow him down with heavy hits and stay on the offensive. He skirts away, living to fight another day. He'll head to the ring. Saving us from having to sit through that. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Shoulders down. And a shoulder in the air. He's far from finished. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Uh-oh, what a counter. Setting up for something here. Get out of the wind pile. Can he do it here? Count there. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. This match grinded him down a little. Leg drop. Whoa. Off the ropes. Oh my goodness! Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. And he slides him back to the mat. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Getting back into the ring. Uh-oh, great 
job anticipating Jimmy. Put it in position now. Targeting the throat there. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Devon has to avoid that kind of offense if he wants to be in this match. Yeah, Jimmy displayed just a touch of his offensive capabilities. Insulting. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Stiff elbow will break that up. Hazardous position as Jimmy gains his footing. Devon with a kick to the guts. Turns his opponent around and saving grace. Terrible position for Jimmy. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. The competition can really bring out the best of people. And I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Saw it coming. Connects on the kick. He knows how to avoid contact. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Jimmy Dodge is out of that. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Vicious right forearm. Vicious downright savage club right there. Popped up. Jimmy Uso with a Samoan drop. Top rope, here we go! Top rope, Uso splash! Jimmy might have just finished things. Two! He manages to kick out. What strength! Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. And it's gonna take composure now. Could just need one more big move. He's back into the ring. Kick to the gut. Oh, what a right! Uh-oh, look out. Oh. Diva now lacking any signs of resistance. Jimmy Uso is getting that unstoppable look in his eyes. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Kick. Looking for the victory. Two count and a kick out at two. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Uso. Jimmy Uso splash. That could finish off Diva. And Jimmy Uso picks up the win. Here is your They might not be in the best shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. Coming back after being on the receiving end of an underhanded attack and winning it all? Impressive doesn't even begin to describe it. Some might say lucky does, though. Oh, no, this is not luck. This is fortitude. This is grit, Corey. Oh, 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 are you guys ready? The following contest is a tag match set for one fall and is for the WCW NWO World Tag Team Championship. Introducing first from Harlem, New York, weighing in at 251 pounds, the Superstar. 
The confidence and zeal this person has in the ring is frankly a little unnerving. It's like nothing intimidates them. They do seem totally unafraid of any opponent. Look, I hope you gentlemen are not being facetious and are truly giving this fearless competitor their props. This man is all about being mean and making green. Reforming the OC once again. He may be fun-loving outside of the ring, but he is all business in it. And he has made that painfully obvious time after time. Yeah! One of the best big men the WWE Universe has ever seen. He's earned a ton of tag titles looking to repeat the same success on his own. Main event, Jey Uso. Yeah, it's just him, Oos. And from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jey Uso. Not content with being the right hand anymore, Jey Uso has set out on his own path. And it's a particularly treacherous path these days. There are a lot of men who have a grudge with his actions in the bloodline that are not easily forgotten. Jey Uso is intent on proving himself to his competitors in the entire WWE Universe. The entire WWE Universe on their feet for Jey Uso. Well, it sounds like this entire arena agrees that this is indeed the main event. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. But this superstar isn't afraid to come out here and take things by force. Oh, you hypocrite. I'll just wait until another superstar, one you don't like, Saxton, decides to come out and take what they want, and we'll see how you respond then. And I'd also add that he's anything but timid when it comes to being inside that ring. Good, because the moment you show even an ounce of apprehension, you're going to find yourself in big trouble.
Some prestigious tag titles on the line right now. Classic tag team action set to get underway. Anything we should know, Corey? Tag your partner, trust your partner, pin the other guy. That about cover it? Sounds good to me. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. Solid punch. Jumping neck breaker, ouch. Pop right in the stomach, creates the separation. Oh my God, it... He went right into that turnbuckle. Double axe handle. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. He turns it around. Oh, man. Sorry, headbutt. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here's the pin, Tunnel on the line! He forces a break before the count of two. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. In off the tag. Looking wobbly in the corner. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Lifts their opponent's oh, legs. Oh, and oh. That's a free fall. For the title. And he powers out. Just barely, but it counts. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Targeting a body part, working the arm. Just one step ahead. Super kick! Good night. Uh, setting him up in position here. On the same rope. 20 oh. DDT. Viking DDT. What a beautiful moonsault. That extra rotation creates so much more force than a standard splash. First with a waist lock takedown. Big forearm. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Lives to fight another day. Quick thinking pays off. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. with the super kick. Gao's aggression seemed to be quelled by that attack. <laughs> Yank right off the apron. Oh, no. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. <laughs> and Gallows expected that. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And that was some vicious DDT we just saw. And he barely evades. Slam! What impact. He's turning the tables. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Ripcord tossed back into the ring. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Okay, already we get it. Stop 
looking for adulation from the crowd to get back into the fight. And main event Jey Uso isn't looking so big after that hit there. An agile escape. A good measure. And I think that one busted up Luke a bit. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Luke keeps him away. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Oh, this one with the championship on the line. And a kick out at only one. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Luke Gallows clearly wants a fight here. He made it. Tag made. Oh, and a DDT! Tag made. Tag made. Boom! That's a form that'll flow you. Power slam! Wrenching the arm. Man, what a clothesline. From the top. Elbow drop. No! He's getting a little batter now. Superman punch. Go oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. Boom, hit the button. Oh, kick. Nasty kick. But we're not talking about The Rock. Running power slam! His offense is on point right now. It's obvious to see how focused he is now. Turned that one around. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Oh, man. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. DDT. Now a pin for the championship. He breaks the ref's count before two. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Uh-oh. Twist of fate. He eludes the cut. Oh, God. Super kick. Gosh. The close of this match is just ahead. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. Gallows isn't looking too good, brothers. I'm not your brother. Don't speak ill. Here we go. Darby leg drop from way up high. Luke is in a distressing spot. Luke has run into a roadblock. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up yes. and driven down with a jackhammer. That could be Gallo's demise. Nasty right hand. Answers with an enziguri. Crashing to the floor.
He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Gotta hurt. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Looking a little out of it, up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very well be the beginning of the end. Oof. Uh-oh, from the top rope. Snap there from the top rope. Stomping down. And somehow Luke is still able to produce more damage. Yeah, Gallo somehow sustaining the advantage despite everything he's been through. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Super kick finds the mark. He's tagging out. Some good contact by Jey Uso. On the point. Luke retaliates. Slam. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. And Jay took a solid hit that time. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner off. And attack for the championship. They got it. And they're the new tag team champions. Jey Uso puts the finishing touches on this one for the win. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. On behalf of the entire WWE Universe, thank you, Trish. Such a suck-up. The following contest is a triple threat steel cage match. And it is for the WCW Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish. You know, since Trish's return to WWE, she has been relentless in attacking her foes with a level of aggression we've never seen from her before. From the times early in her career, Trish had a thankless job. You do that for long enough, and the aggression just comes naturally. Trish just isn't content to be thanked anymore. She wants revenge. One of the most dominant forces the women's division has ever seen, Rhea Ripley. The Eradicator is here. And her opponents first, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's World Champion. Messing with Rhea Ripley is just plain dangerous. Her power, her intensity, and her complete lack of remorse makes her a one-of-a-kind threat. Oh, baby, I've been waiting for this. Well, what's really scary is it seems like Rhea is only getting stronger, more lethal. She's deadlier today than she was even just yesterday.
Ripley seems more than happy to get things started. The EST is here. This is going to be good. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. I know she's early in her WWE career, but Bianca Belair already might be considered one of the best. And here's the thing. She's only going to get better. You're right, Cole. It's actually kind of scary how Belair continues to keep topping herself. Listen to this ovation. The WWE Universe loves cheering on the EST. Well, come on. Her energy is just infectious. I see Graves even dancing over there. Uh, I'm not sure I call that dancing. The energy in this arena is palpable. These competitors know exactly what's on the line. The right to be called a champion is at stake here in this punishing steel cage match. We're ready for action here. Trish Stratus, Rhea Ripley, and Bianca Belair. Face first off the knee. Oof. Drop kick to the face. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Couple of kicks. And there's more. Two kicks. Ouch. Can't stay the best of friends during the duration of this match, but they got the work done there. This might be the start of something. And Rhea finds a counter. Oh, this isn't pretty. to the bread basket for their troubles. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh, snapping the leg in. And again in the other direction. Up and, oh, knee right to the spine. Ooh. Bianca Belair scoops up her opponent and making it look easy. And then a power slam. Hooked up. DDT. Ah, oh, look at this. Hairball match slam. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. In a triple threat match, you absolutely have to keep your head on a swivel. You can't just focus on one opponent because the second you do, the other can easily sneak in and change the complexion of this match. the shoulder. One step ahead of Bianca there. Double team out. Superstars, double team, double neck breaker, double the punishment. German suplex. Things taking a turn for her now. Ripley clearly enjoying her infliction of agony. A long way down. Oh, that backfired on her. Ooh, dropped right on their face. about that. Hurts on the middle rope. Bulldog! Going for a pin for the championship. Ooh, what a forearm club. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. Ripcord drop kick. Backdrop suplex.
drop kick. Right to the kidneys from behind. Blows right to the body. It's two on one. Oh, what a shot to the gut and another one. A couple of individuals with an equal purpose uniting forces to dispose of their competition. Oh, my God. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Uh-oh. Turning the tables there. Oh, my goodness. Launched into the cage. Uh, she's trying. Trying to create space. Quick take down there. Things not going out. Here's a pin for the title. The pin's broken up. Devastating clothesline delivered by Rhea Ripley. Make it twice. And now maneuvers her opponent. Drop kick. Spiked. And Belair reverses it. The EST has them up for the torture. A rake of the eyes to count. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Now that's what you call impact. And now up the side of the cage she goes. Looking for a grip to get themselves over the cage. Trying to make their way out of the cage. Oh! That unraveled on Trish. Taking flight. Where's the haymaker? Oh my! Turn that around and spike them. Placing them into the corner. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Belair goes behind. How about? With a glam slam. Oh, we got to see Belair finish off Rhea here. What a wrist clutch suplex. Shoulders up before two. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. Heading up and maybe heading out. Ooh. Trying to make their way out of the cage. Oh, no. From the top rope. Oh, no. She is sent plummeting into the cage. The power of Bianca Belair. K.O. Trish's chances are fading. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. How are these women keeping this intensity? How are they not entirely drained by now? Pure adrenaline's got to be taken over. It's the only explanation. Down with the power bomb. Had it scouted. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Rounding a downed opponent. Look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap, too. Rear Ripley setting up her opponent. Here it comes. Riptide. No doubt Ripley just ended this. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Bianca Belair deadlifting her opponent into a military press. This is amazing. Military press slam. Landing. Now a pin for the championship. She still fights out in one. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. to the stomach puts an end to that. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Lock over down. Championship on the line. That could have been it right there. Bianca out thought her there. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Slam incoming, no, counted into an inverted DDT. Vicious backdrop suplex. 
suplex. Bianca's looking impressive. Bianca's at full throttle. Muscling up her opponent. You know what's next. And the KOD. Did Belair just close this? And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Looking to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. She's trying to ascend the cage now. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? Trying to make their way out of the cage. You can feel the WWE Universe reverberating off every corner in this building. Off from the cage wall, right down to the mat. Ooh, things definitely didn't go to plan for her. Sent into the corner. Counter after counter. Taken down with the gold buster. Close fist connects. Uh-oh. Knew what was coming there. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't get much more classic than this. Trish Stratus about to deliver some Stratus faction. Boom! Does that finish Ripley for good? Into the power slam. Now she's scaling the cage wall. Gotta wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way. And there she is, finally reaching the top of the cage. And she is making climbing this steel cage look, look easy. Has to find a foothold now to take that first step down. All the way from the top of the cage, can they make the escape? Not safe up there. With Superstar dragging them back down to continue this fight. Uh-oh, face first. Goodbye. Using the hair to drag their opponent down. Oh, no, look at this. Not punishing. Body slam slipped out. puts you in a more perilous position. And now she's mounted on the cage, trying to scale up the wall. And a tussle on the side of the cage now between these two competitors. Making the big climb towards victory. No surprise that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. And she is down. My God. That was rough, even for someone tough like her. Are the nerves getting to her up there? Landing. And that's what you gotta expect in a steel cage match, Saxton. And there's the confidence of the Hall of Famer. Ripley lined up Belair just perfectly there. 
She's able to get out of the way. Oh, yeah, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Oof. Back elbow puts a stop to face. Right to the kidneys from behind. Oh, shoulder to the gut. Belair gets countered. Two-handed choke slam. Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. There's the rip tie. Wow. Ripley got it. Shoulder up. Right to the kidneys from behind. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. Firm control. Oh my God, what a kick. Good. With a championship on the line. Kick it out before the count. The fact that these superstars can still be moving at this point is beyond the realm of reality. Ooh, look at her answering back. Fires back with a crucial elbow. I am on the counter. The double team here. Uh oh. Oh, face first. She's pushed into the corner. Punch right to the face. Big form. Oh, the reversal by Trish Stratus. Ripley uncorking a clothesline, and another ripcord position, drop kick. Two-handed choke slam. And the pressure on Bianca continues to mount. And Rhea showing no signs of taking it easy on the EST. Big knee to the midsection. Stratus. Not looking good for Bianca. Oh, God. Face first. Is it enough? The cover. Two. New champion. I can't believe it. Here is your winner. Broken, beaten, and scarred. But there is your winner. And that's about as conclusive a win as you can... The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because L.A. Knight is here. Yeah. The following is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. By some accounts, L.A. Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. This guy has never met a spotlight he didn't like, but I'll give credit where it's due. When you're as good as L.A. Knight, you shine bright naturally. Things are about to get good.
Kendo sticks, garbage cans, chairs, ladders, throw in the kitchen sink because you can get nailed with anything in an Extreme Rules match. Now, this is the epitome of carnage and chaos where anything can turn into a lethal weapon. Which is why it is crucial to exploit a weakness as soon as it's discovered. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. That arm's going to be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Beautiful takedown into the account. All the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. He was elusive there. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, that's a throw. They are looking to punish their opponent further, and here we are. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Attacking the back in that way, there's definitely a plan in place here. Get him into the corner. Makes him pay with a counter. A close line. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Close line! Uh-oh. He can catch cover. Shoulders are down. Power in at one. Not time to expect victory yet. Close fist punch to the jaw. That's one way to break up a move. I know it may not sound extreme, but honestly, the best course of action in this match is to be cautious. Don't get into the car crash mindset just because the match allows it. Do what you have to do to succeed, but don't do something you'll regret just because it's extreme rules. Be smart. Uh-oh. Great counter! Trampling the opposition. He's lost some of his win now. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Hey, not ready to use the microphone as a weapon. This time, literally. Delivers the knee. Fishing for something beneath the ring. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Oh. He's got a kendo stick wrapped around the head. Boom! And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. He switches it back around. Oh, and Knight fights back. Whip back into the ring. Here he goes for the win. Almost lights out. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. Soaring. Able to sidestep it. There's some power behind that punch. Drop hit. Beautiful. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Taking this to the floor. Oh! Telegraphed that one and delivers a blow to the gut. He gets out of the way. Gotta find a way to get out of this. What a throw! Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. That ladder changes the complexion of this match entirely. Out. Oh, man. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. And L.A. Knight wants more from his opponent. 
Go behind. Into the turban. For the win. Quick shoulder up. Not a whole lot of luster behind that kick out. Effectively targeting the arm. He's looking a little weary now. Showing a lot of fortitude in this Extreme Rules match for sure. But not sure how much more tenable it could be. Picked up. Reverse DDT. End of the road. Hazardous situation for LA Knight. Boom! Did you hear the impact? LA Knight asking the crowd, whose game is it? Oh, man. Turn the microphone into a shot put weapon. And he saw that coming from Knight. Taken down. What is this superstar looking for? Legs are great by now. The arms are trapped. This won't end well. Oh, big stop. Target is set on LA. He's in peril. Double leg takedown. Could be looking for a submission here. Can they step through? Yes. And uh, he's trying to push himself up, and that'll cause a break. You can see the battle scars on their bodies, and they are telling an epic tale. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, the Icon. LA Knight suffers the loss. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. That sound of breaking glass is the prelude to a beatdown. The Texas Rattlesnake is here. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. And is for the WCW Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, Weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's been through spinal surgery, dealt with knee injuries, and yet Stone Cold looks as unstoppable as ever. They call him the bionic redneck for a reason, a cyborg hell-bent on delivering a whooping to his opponents. Yeah, you would think all of that would have made Stone Cold seem less bulletproof, but I think it only made him meaner and tougher. We are about to see something good. And his opponents, first from Jersey City, New Jersey, weighing in at 238 pounds, Diamond Palace Page. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. It's time to get a scream. Here comes the Sandman. And from Philadelphia, weighing in at 240 pounds, 
The Sandman! You want to get hardcore? You want to get extreme? The Sandman is more than ready to brawl. Yeah, a man who can definitely hack it in hardcore environments, but can throw fists by the book as well. It's just simple, guys. Sandman just wants to fight and will enjoy every second of it, no matter the rules. Well, he's not the only one who's going to enjoy it. WWE Universe just exploded! tonight as the new champion. And as far as Perseverance is concerned, I say there's few that can match him here in WWE. Yeah, he may fall down, Michael, but you can bet he'll get right back up and dust himself off. Intensity on the face of the champion. Challenger in the corner. Looking more determined than I've ever seen. Four superstars in hostile competition. The MO of a fatal four-way match. No friends in a fatal four-way. You gotta look out for the number one. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Eats a punch to the face. Sidewalk slam. 
right on target with a stop to the gut. Counters with an attack on Sandman. Byron, how does this matchup require a different mindset? A superstar must be prepared to go all out, be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Remember, it's no disqualification. The superstar can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tap out. Into a ripcord lariat, what a combination! And Sandman struggling a bit, held in a perilous position. And the hesitation to deliver an attack ends up being costly. I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind Rage. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Styles Rouge! Into the pin attempt. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Really just laying it in. Big boot to the gut and a thunderous four. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. He and he very quickly counters. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Fast press. Here comes Austin. Fast press. And a leash it. Slam. With authority. Attack after attack coming from Austin. Austin cashing in on his opportunities. Oh no, a sledgehammer. Better call a pyramid. Oh. And he breaks the hold. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, this fatal four has certainly taken its toll, Michael. Austin unprepared for this. Is that enough to take out Austin? He breaks up the pain. Textbook side rush and leg sweep. Rapid fire rights over and over. Planet with the bulldog. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. Yes, he went through it. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Taking this outside. This could be good. Ooh. Right to the kidneys from behind. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Sandman getting the better of his opponent on that one. Double axe handle. Oof. And now gets tossed into the ring. And he gets set back into the ring. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Baseball bat. Uh-oh, Sandman. Final driver. Is it enough? Is it enough? With a championship on the line. The cover. What? How? How? Kicking out at one after that is unheard of. That move is... Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and driven down with a jackhammer. Crucial moment for the Sandman. Oh, atomic drop. This is what he feeds off of. Moments like this, this big match feel. Punch connects. Championship. Kick out. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Watch out. Cross. 
across the ring with a bulldog. Taking it outside the ring now. He's taking this to the floor now. He fends off the attack. Bad predicament right here. Oh, Austin! Austin. Austin. Austin got all of it. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Coming. And the Sandman with a counter. Oh, look at the double team here. Uh oh. Oh, flip jack. Now a pin for the championship. He stops the count. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Here's the pin top. Well, meanwhile, Austin. Dribbling the opponent. Here's the pin top of the line. Go! Kicks out. He still has life. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. He must have seen that coming. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh, no. Powerbomb off to the apron. Vicious right forearm. Counters with an attack on Sandman. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. And he's able to counter. Drop kick. Beautiful. And my word, this has been a match for the ages. Here comes another one. Oh, a sudden cut. Here's his window. Will he take advantage? Kick to the gut. Now kick to the back. Just... Punishing their opponent from every angle possible. And now locking in the wrist. Oh, oh, vicious running knee lift. Rolling elbow. Ooh, Drop toe hold. With a championship on the line. And he breaks up the pin. 
pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Can this ref even count to three? Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Uh-oh, this has got to be nasty. There's the power into the... Driven down with a jackhammer. A game-ending move. Checkmate. Somehow he kicked out. Austin somehow got the shoulder up. Intestinal fortitude on display from Stone Cold. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. Boom! He's going back to the well. Catching a cover. You can't take any more of that. This must be over. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. This oh, big four. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? There's a Russian leg sweep. These will keep you down. After another, these two are reading each other's minds. Infernal DDT connects. Oh, Austin with the stunner. Nobody recovered when Austin gets that. Fred already breaks up the pin. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Spine. Now a pin for the championship. Broken up. And the match continues. A big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Big forearm. Evading offense. He saw that one coming. Stone Cold Steve Austin and dropping bombs. He breaks up the pin and the match continues. Oh, looking for the, the pump handle. Oh, they slam. Oh, what distance. Draped across the top rope. Whiplash that maker. Oh my, guillotine leg drop. Pin attempt for the championship. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. What a match. Swinging neck breaker. It's an impressive feat to overcome the chaos and unique challenges of a four-way match.